mortgage. They have mortgages even in those days. And again, I'm not being told that, but basically they could surrender their land um, to a third party, borrow some money on it, and, secure, and the land was held as security. Again, mortgage could be paid off just like it is today. Um, and then intent, this is an idea. Look at the Wiggles was the Wiggles was for the people with big money in the in 18th century slave, but um, they're lending £90 on this land and it's got to be repaid by the 6th of June, 1716. And if it wasn't, the copyholder could lose its title to the land, potentially. Um, copyholders could also lease uh, land for a fixed term. As an example, from 1672, Stonefold, still there near Newton, um, 15 acres. Uh, another park, the park is a very common name, so Robert Park with Radham Lawns. Radham Lawns, still there. He was a gentleman, I think he's related to Robert, which yeah. is one of the, one of the family. Uh, he's um, surrendering the land to a John Bond for a certain number of years, it's 18 years, and he's got to pay an annual rent. So, um, this Robert Parker was a tenant and the a lord of the manor, but he, he was uh, um, surrendering the land to a sub-tenant, a sub-letting. Sub Trustees, in the old documents, are called fee or fees. And the four bids, quite a complicated one. The kings of Whitehall, who eventually passed the name down to the King Wilkinson family. Um, surviving fee or fees, a trustee. Parker again, a different branch of the Parkers, and Gamble Hole, again, it's a farm that's still there. Um, and there's quite a lot of genealogical information <coughs> in that one about the Parker family, for, for people doing family trees. It's, it's a, a godsend. Now, the earlier roles, before 1660, are more interesting, really, because not only do they uh, record copyhold transactions, but they also contain a lot of information um, about pleas of trespass, debt, um, a phrase, fighting, including the vicar. <laughs> um, you wouldn't believe, a chap called Samuel Moore, he was rector or vicar of slave from 16, 1623 to 1658. He's involved in so many fights. <laughs> you can't imagine what must be going on. Dogs attacking sheep, nothing to use. Kings and rings. And all of this occurs in the court rolls. That's part of the role for 1625. Those are pleas. Um, about five there on the bottom half of that. And it's something to go along the lines of John Smith complaints against uh, Ted Bloggs in a plea of debt of five shillings. You never get a great deal of detail, but you've had a, a, a guilty verdict or a not guilty 